Hi everyone! In today's lesson we are looking at Chapter 7, Section 5, Glide Reflections and Compositions. Our objectives are to identify glide reflections in a plane and to represent transformations as compositions of simpler transformations. Let's look at some vocabulary. Our first definition is glide reflection. A glide reflection is a transformation in which every point P is mapped onto a point P double prime by the following two steps. First, you're going to do a translation that maps P onto P prime. Then you're going to do a reflection in a line K parallel to the direction of the translation maps P prime onto P double prime. Composition. When two or more transformations are combined to produce a single transformation, the result is called a composition of the transformations. Example 1, finding the image of a glide reflection. Sketch the image of triangle ABC after a glide reflection. So remember, glide reflection means that we are first going to do a translation and then we're going to do a reflection based on what we're given. According to what we're given for the translation, we notice that our X coordinate over here has no addition or subtraction going on next to it, meaning there's no change in our X value. That's just going to stay the same. All of our Y values are going to be moving up by 8. Translate triangle ABC by moving it 8 units up to produce triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. So we can see over here, this is our pre-image. We know that's our pre-image because it doesn't have a prime over here. Remember, nothing's happening with the X value, but the Y value is going to move up by 8. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Our A prime is located at X equals 2 and Y equals 6. Same thing over here, going up for B, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. B prime is at 7 and 6. C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. C prime is located at 7 and 2. Once we've done our translation, our next step is now to do a reflection. Remember, the algebraic method of doing the reflection is to take your original x, y values. In this case, we are changing the a prime, b prime, and c prime. We're reflecting that. Negate the value of the x. So if x is a positive, it becomes a negative. If x is a negative, then it becomes a positive. Or you could do it graphically. So let's do the reflection graphically and check our answers algebraically. In a reflection across the y-axis, notice that a prime is two away from the y-axis, so it's one, two, so we're gonna go two away from it, it's one, two. A prime is located at x equals negative two and y equals six. And that matches our algebraic form over here, because notice that x and y stay the same, only thing that changes is the value for x, it becomes the opposite. So after translation, it was two and six, and then after reflection, it's negative two and six. Okay, let's take a look at B. We are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 points away from our line of reflection. So this has to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. B double prime is located at negative 7 and 6. Again, checking it. Remember, the x value has to be its opposite. So if this was a positive, then this is a negative. Finally, C double prime. So looking at C prime, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Taking it 7 across the y-axis is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And so C double prime is located at x equals negative 7 and y equals 2. And that works with our algebraic method as well. All right, checkpoint problems one and two are yours. For each of these, you are to write the coordinates of the image of P located at four and negative two after the given glide reflection. Problem one, you're gonna do a translation of X plus four and Y, and then a reflection in the Y axis. And then for problem two, you're doing a translation of X and Y minus six, and then a reflection in the Y axis. Theorem 7.6, Composition Theorem. The composition of two or more isometries is an isometry, meaning if you are to do a composition where you have a reflection and a rotation, or a rotation and a translation, or a translation and a reflection, because each one of these are isometries together, they're also going to be an isometry. 
Example number two, finding the image of a composition. Sketch the image of line segment MN after composition of the given rotation and reflection. So our original points are M is at negative four and two, and N is at negative two and five. The first thing we need to do is a 90 degrees clockwise rotation about the origin. Using our algebraic method, we know that a 90 degrees clockwise rotation is the same as saying a rotation in the negative 90 degrees. Our original X, Y maps to to y and negative x. So basically what you would do is you would take your original x and y values and switch it and whatever the sign of your x value is, it becomes its opposite. So it becomes y and negative x. When we rotate line segment m n 90 degrees about the origin to produce line segment m prime n prime, the end points of line segment m prime n prime are m prime is located at 2 and 4. So switch the right over here, we're going to switch the 4 and 2 and since 4 is negative and we're going to take its opposite sign so it becomes a positive and that's how we got the 2 and 4. Same thing here since it's a rotation we're going to switch the 5 and the 2 and since the 2 is negative it's going to become its opposite according to this rule over here so we are going to end up with 5 and 2. After we've done our rotation, which is right over here, so this is our rotation, then we're going to take this and reflect it across the x-axis. We could do this algebraically, we could do this graphically. Algebraically here is what you would do. You would take your x and y and then just change the sign of the y value. When we do it that way, we're reflecting what we got after our rotation. So m prime is what we are reflecting. Um, m double prime would then be 2 and negative 4, so it's the opposite of our our y value here and n double prime would be 5 and the opposite of 2 which is negative 2. Describing a composition. Describe a composition of transformations in the diagram. This is example 3. We are taking a look at our pre-image which is here and looking to see what has occurred to it to get us to this double prime over here. From here, PQR, first going to go here because that's the one that has just a single prime and it looked like we've done a rotation. So two transformations are shown. First triangle PQR is rotated rotated 180 degrees about the origin to produce triangle P prime, Q prime, and R prime. After that, taking this, we'll notice that well, we're now going over here. From here, P prime, Q prime, and R prime to P double prime, Q double prime, and R double prime, it looks like all we've done is just moved it up and over. So that is a translation where X is moved a positive six units and Y is moved a positive one unit. And we can double check on that one. So I'm going from P to P prime. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's my change in X. And then change in Y is just one unit. All right, checkpoints, problems number three, four, five, and six are yours. In problems three and four, you have to write the coordinates of the image of A, which is located at negative three and five, after a composition using the given transformations in the order they appear. In problem number three, you are doing a translation where you map X and Y, X plus nine and Y minus eight. And after that, you are doing a rotation of a 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin. In problem number four, first you're going to do a rotation of 180 degrees about the origin and then reflect in the y-axis. Problem 5. Describe the composition of this transformation. And then problem 6. Describe the composition of this transformation. Alright, that's it from me. I'll see y'all soon.